Hey everyone, welcome to Mrs. K's way of writing direct proportion equations from a graph. We kind of saw this really quickly on our last video of graphing proportional equ um, equations. However, I'm going to go in a little bit more detail on how to go from an equation to a graph. So these are our three steps that we have to go from a graph to an equation. First is we want to find at least three points on the graph. Our second is we want to create an XY table to represent your coordinate pairs or your points that we found in step one. And last but not least, we're going to do our third step, which is find the constant of proportionality or that K we've been talking so much about. And then we want to use that K to create a direct proportion equation, which is the Y equals XK or KX equation. So our first step is to find three points on the graph. Of course, we want to remember what it means by points. We are looking for each of these different dots that fall on the line of our straight line for our direct proportion. So we know that lines are written in coordinate pairs, which we have our first x coordinate, and then we follow it with our y. So we're going to pick three on our direct proportion graph, and we know that this is a direct proportion because it goes through the origin, and it's nice and straight. So the first thing we're going to do is find our first point. So I'm going to pick this one right here. How I find out where that coordinate pair is, is I first look at the x-coordinate. So my independent variable is my x-axis, or my horizontal. For here, it's my number of nights. And so I want to make sure that for my x, that I look right here and it's a 1. So over on my first point I'm going to have an x of 1 and I look back up for my y coordinate and my dependent variable right here on this y axis is 50. So my first point is 1, 50. So the 1 is my x and the 50 is my y. Now I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to pick this another one for my second point, and I have an x of 4 and a y of 200, so I just write that with my nice parentheses as 4, 200. And quickly, you guys would all be able to figure this out on your own. Our last point, if I were to put it on here, you would be able to find that as 8 and 400. Now, I could have pick and picked any of these other different spaces right here on our line. I could have even gone in between the different boxes. I just chose those three points to be able to help me out. But remember, it doesn't matter which three as long as they are three that are on this line. So now we finished the first part. Let's move on. In order to create our XY table, we want to be able to obviously have a table that shows our X coordinates, our independent variable, and our Y coordinates, our dependent variable. And all we're going to do is to take that same idea that we had before of our points, which are written again as X, Y. We are going to put all of our different X values in wherever we have our X, and then our different Y values our different y values, which I'm going to have in squiggly lines, are going to go where our y values are. So I'm quickly just going to transfer these to its place that it should go. So for point 1, I know that I'm going to be at an x of 1 and a y of 50. For point 2, I'm going to be at x of 4 and y of 200. And then last but not least, I know that I'm going to have my point 3 is an x of 8 and a y of 400. Now I have this last little area right here because there's one more point that I can add on my graph and it doesn't always have to be one of my points but I always know since it's a direct proportion that my origin of 0, 0 can also be included in my table since I know that this is directly proportional. So that's how we created from our different points to putting them on a table. Let's keep going. 
Our last step is to be able to find the constant of proportionality, rk, and then create an equation y equals kx. Now this is very familiar of what we did last time, where all we're taking are the different y and x coordinates and we're trying to find our k. We use our lovely equation, our constant of proportionality is equal to y over x, excuse me, and we are going to just try to find what each of those ratios are. So for our first one, for our origin, we know our y is zero and our x is zero. Now, if we wanted to reduce that, we know that our k would equal just zero, because zero divided by zero would give us zero. Now, we don't necessarily need this point to find our constant of proportionality, but we want to make sure that it does go through that point. Our point one is going to be 500, sorry, 50, I apologize, over one, which reduces down to 50. Our point two is 200 over four, that also gives us 50. And last but not least, our last point, 400 over 8, and that also will reduce to 50. So even though our origin is 0, we wanted to make sure whatever we plugged in for x are independent, we should get y, and we want to make sure that's equal to 0. But since we noticed that the last ones here are point 1, 2, 3, and 4 right here are all the same, we know our constant of proportionality will be equal to 50. So if I can move this little box right here, this reminds us right now that our direct proportion equation is y is equal to kx. This is our handy dandy. And now that we can put that into our equation, we know our k is equal to 50. So if we move that down a little bit more, our final answer is y is equal to 50 x. And that is our final equation for this. So just to recap, we were able to find the equation for this line right here for this graph uh, for our number of nights per cost. And we found out our final equation was y is equal to 50x. Why that's so important is because if we use another dot or another point that we didn't use, if we were able to plug in our x value of 2 into our equation, we would know that y is equal to 50 times 2. And we know that we should result in a 100, and that's exactly what happens. y is equal to 100. And we were able to check that out because that's exactly what this point is, is at 50, 100. So great job, you guys. Thanks for watching, you guys. And of course, as my easy button would say, that was easy, but we'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully we can answer any questions you might have. Bye.